don't fall in love with the money, but instead fall in love with the business. That is today's topic for Entrepreneur Vault 100, episode number eight. So let's get the timer started. You already know the drill. It's 100 seconds of some business rant or two minutes and six seconds. So once again, back to the topic, right? So fall in love with the business, but not the money. Now, this topic got inspired because um, I had a question from one of the entrepreneurs on Facebook who was wondering about what business idea they should start. And they made, a pro they made a little bit of a mistake by asking which business is gonna make me the most money. Now, a lot of people usually have this misconception that entrepreneurs are mostly chasing the money, but really in reality, they fell in love with something they're passionate about and it ended up making a lot of money. So the reason why it's important to fall in love with the whole process of the business is because you're probably not gonna make a dollar or even a hundred dollars in the first month, two months, three months, you might not even be profitable for the next three years. So you'll be very, very frustrated if the thing you're falling in love with was the cash instead of the business. Now you can look at this as the way history has shown us in the past. If you look at all the big, biggest businesses, they go in a very long time where they're not generating money to the point where they're able to turn around and generate cash, right? A classic example is with Facebook, right? If you know the Facebook story, the reason why they were able to beat MySpace is because Facebook was not dumping a bunch of ads on their users basically to maximize their profits. But MySpace was doing that. And so Facebook stuck to their model of what they wanted to transform in the world and then the money came afterwards. So what's the difference? Well, MySpace was sold for a very small amount, millions of dollars, and Facebook is still in the game and they're running with billions of dollars, right? And you can be able to just basically see in Mark Zuckerberg himself, he's very humble. He didn't really do it too much for the money just uh, purposely, but he did it to go out and change the world through Facebook. So that's why it's very important for you to actually fall in love with the process of the business and what you're going after and the money will come afterwards you know just change the world and a little change will come in your pocket in return so anyway guys that is entrepreneur vault 100 episode number eight we hit the clock it's officially 206 wait it's 100 seconds i almost got mixed up at the end peace out